Hey, this is Hunter Swindell. And I'm Brian Verhalen, and today we're going to show you how to install a new armrest cover on your 1995 all the way through 2006 uh, Chevy or GMC Suburban Tahoe Yukon or pickup. We're going to show you first a, a uh, shot of how to get the armrest off of the frame. There's a small clip on the inside of the frame that attaches this on. So we're gonna go, I'm going to go ahead and stretch this back and show you what I'm talking about because you'll be able to pull this leather back to, to expose part of the frame. And Hunter, let's show them exactly a good close-up of what that looks like. All right, what we have here is a partially disassembled seat frame just to give you a good view of exactly what that clip looks like. I'm going to stretch that back and Brian's going to show you exactly what, what to do once you get inside that. All right, the first tool that I use here to take the clip off is one of those little 90 degree angle picks. There's a rubber band that hooks on the very bottom of this clip. This, this hook will really help you to get underneath the rubber band. You're going to stretch it out. Second tool I'll use is a pair of needle nose pliers. So I'll go ahead and stretch the rubber band so I can get some separation. That way I can get my, rubber, my needle nose pliers onto it, get a good firm hold of that rubber band. And I'll go ahead and pull it off. Now I've got the rubber band separate. We're going to go ahead and take off the clip now. I'll use, sometimes the clip's going to be really tight onto it, and you'll need to use like a flathead screwdriver or the same pick to kind of get you some separation off the, uh, from the clip off of the metal frame there. So once you've got enough separation that'll allow you to get a set of needle nose pliers in there, then you go ahead and get in top, on top there, get a real good hold, pop that off. So make sure you really hold on tight to it because you don't want to drop that, the uh, pin down in the frame. If you do, I've got some tips at the end of the video to show you how to make a replacement clip. Now, once you got that off, that'll allow your armrest to come out. Go ahead and reset your pin and hook your rubber band back on it. So once you get the armrest recovered, all you gotta do is push it back in and it'll self-lock back into place. We're gonna go ahead and reset that now. Take your needle nose. Let's go ahead and line it back up. Get her in there. All right. Hook it on with a rubber band. Okay, now we got it all stretched on. Now once you get, like I said earlier, once you get that recovered, it'll just push back in there and it'll self-lock back in place. Good. All right, we're going to go ahead and actually show you how to take the complete armrest off the seat with a fully assembled seat. Well, not one that's, you know, we partially took apart so that you can see the innards real well. Um, it always helps to have a second pair of hands with you while you do it. One person can pull the leather, stretch the leather back while the other gets in there with the tools to go and remove the clip. But it's real important you don't drop the clip. It's a real pain if you do. So Hunter's going to go, out, go ahead around the front there. We're going to go ahead and stretch this back and go ahead and pull this armrest off in real time here. All right, remember that first thing you're looking for is that rubber band. So go get your, your pick, pry it off, make sure you get your needle nose get a secure grip on that rubber band. Take it off that clip. Now again, come in with your pick or your small flathead screwdriver. You're gonna have to separate that clip from the actual frame. Just enough so you can get those needle nose in there. Once you get a good firm grip, go ahead and pop that clip off. And now Brian's going to pop off that armrest. That'll wiggle right out out there. And like before we said, we're going to go ahead and reset the pick, the reset the uh, reset the clip on there. Go ahead and hook the rubber band back on. That way, when we get the armrest recovered, push it back in. It's going to lock back in place. All right, now we're going to put the new cover on the old armrest that we just pulled off. Now some of the armrests may look like this with all the prickly points and the sharp edges. Go ahead and take you a few strips of duct tape put it tightly over that just so those points don't poke through the new cover. Now to make sure you're putting the right cover on the correct armrest, you're going to look with the zipper in the down position all the way zip closed on your new cover. Make sure that double seam lines up with the double seam on the original armrest. Go ahead and unzip that. You're going to slide it on just like a sock. Again, making sure the double seams line up. Now it's going to be a very tight fit, but it's not going to slide around on you. You're going to work it down pretty hard. You 
You may have to do that a couple times. Get it around the back on that side. On this side, don't cut any hole in the cover yet. We'll do that in there in a second. Pull that around the post. And again around the back. And go ahead and zip it shut. And make sure when you look down that seam line and you can kind of manipulate the cover and twist it. Just get it nice and straight. All right, now we'll show you how to cut the hole as well as the, the frown face shaped trough in there to where that peg sits in there. Yeah. All right, once you got the zipper zipped down in the back, go ahead and take you a razor blade and cut you a little X over that post that locks it the armrest into the frame. It doesn't have to be big because you'll be able to push that vinyl all the way around that post. Now the last thing we do before we reinstall it on the seat is you'll be able to take your fingers and you'll feel that little horseshoe shaped trough that I'm talking about right in here. Just start in the middle. Just get you a little starter then come back with a pair of scissors and just trace along that trough. You can look in there once it's done. I'm just tracing that little trough. That's where the post sits that's on the seat frame so it doesn't allow it to go all the way down. All right, once you got that little horseshoe cut out, now it's ready to put this back onto the seat frame. All right, now it's time to put that armrest back onto the seat. Go ahead and line up your posts with the hole in the seat frame. Apply some serious pressure and wiggle up and down while you're doing that. And just to make sure, you want to double check just to make sure you got a set, go ahead and wiggle it up and down quite a few times. And if it's not coming out, then you should be good to go. Brian's got a few tips here for you in case you drop that seat clip in your frame. All right, if you do happen to drop it down in the frame, it happens to the best of us. I've even dropped some down there. Here is a quick remedy for you. If you pick up some binder clips, I got these at Office Depot, what you'll need is a medium size binder clip. And this is going to, I'll show you how to put this thing together so you can clip that. Here's the uh, one of the handles off the binder clip. We'll take some uh, wire snips. You want to leave yourself a good good amount of room, so go about you know three quarters of an inch down, and then snip off the two ends here. All right, now you get yourself a new homemade clip. Now it's important that you also need a rubber O-ring. This is a size number eight O-ring. Pick it up at any hardware store, but make sure it's size number eight. And this O-ring is pretty critical to the, using this style clip. Because if you use the clip without the O-ring, once you wiggle this armrest up and down a couple of times, the clip will start coming off. So without that O-ring wrapped around the bottom, but once you get it clipped on the frame, this O-ring, let's see here, you know, it'll go around these two pieces right there, and it'll hold it on, it'll hold it tight onto the frame, makes, making sure the armrest doesn't ever come off. So if you do drop the, the clip down the frame, pick you up some binder clips, get you a number eight size o-ring we will be back in business thanks for watching this armrest install video keep in mind we are a full upholstery shop as well so we carry all the pieces the bottoms tops armrests for your truck or suv i'm hunter swindell and i'm brian and of course if you got any other questions at all feel free to give us a call at 214-710-2565 or check us out 24 hours a day on our website www.theseatshop.com and we have plenty of other uh, install videos posted on our website as well. There's a blue link in the middle that says install videos. And there'll be a whole list of several other installation videos that show you how to uh, install every piece of leather that we, we sell here on our shop.